some waiters can look at you in the way you think they've scanned through your body and they say that you don't have money in your pocket. It is a lie. What's up guys? How are you doing? Welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are still enjoying the festive season. 2018 is around the corner and I know people are eager and excited to see 2018. I'm also excited. Anyway, like I always say, if you are new here, what's up? And if you've been watching me, what's up? I really appreciate it. So today, let's talk. Let's get real. I'm dropping tips on going out to a classic place on budget. So the first tip I'll be dropping is dress well. Honestly speaking, if you want to go to such places, you need to be on point. Dress like a million dollar. Dress like you have the money in your pocket. Your attire should be neatly ironed. You should be neatly shaved. Your hairstyle neat. Makeup should be on point. Don't go and carry those curry catcher makeup and go there. No, simple, nice makeup. And if possible, if you have a good perfume, spray that perfume. That perfume works magic. You know, I don't know if you guys, it's happened to you before, where you, someone passes by you and then you turn and you're like, whoa, you know that perfume, if possible. If you have to wear nice heels, you know, have your sneakers, your sandals. Um, for the guys, you never go wrong when you wear a suit. When you get there and you think it's like casual, you can just remove the jacket. For the girls, have, you know, we, you know how we do it. We always keep that sandals in our bag, that slippers or something in our bag. So wear your heels. When you get there, you see it's a low, you know, normal, then you change. Cool. The next tip I'll be dropping for you guys is have the minimum amount to buy a soda or a cocktail. The virgin cocktails are cheaper than the alcoholic cocktails. Or water. Simple. That is it. When you go, just ask for the menu. In your head, you know you're only going to buy a book or Fanta or Sprite. So just ask for the menu. Close to it in a classy way. You never know. Then when you're done, just tell the, the waiter, can I have a Coke, please? And then another thing, observe, just look around. If you see they're giving peanuts, you know, some good places, they give this peanuts and this finger food and all that. And they've not yet brought yours. Just ask the waiter, please, you didn't bring mine. Politely, he's not going to bite you, he's not going to kill you. He's either going to say it's finished or he forgot, and he's going to bring yours. So with that, you have your soda and you have the peanuts the restaurant or the place is giving you are good to go the third tip i'll be dropping for you guys is be confident and smile that's it be confident if you don't have a dime in your pocket and you are confident and neatly dressed you can go places don't enter there as if you are feeling pity for yourself you would know that is not the time to start feeling pity for yourself or anything so be confident and smile it won't take anything from you don't allow anyone to intimidate you. When you are confident, no one can intimidate you. Sometimes the waiters, you know, some waiters can look at you in a way you think they scan through your body and they say that you don't have money in your pocket. It is a lie. They don't know anything. So just don't allow anybody. Don't allow the waiter. Don't allow the security man. Don't allow the doorman. Don't allow anybody to intimidate you. The next tip I'll be dropping for you guys is go with a friend. <laughs> Go with a friend. Don't go there alone. It's a new place. You don't know how the place is going to be. Call the friend you've been telling about that place you wish to go to. Call that person and say, Charlie, let's go and see this place. After all, we're only going to buy Coke or anything like that. It's going to be fun. The last tip I'll be dropping for you guys is pick a public transport halfway. I've heard people say that, oh, they can't go to this place because they don't have a car. And you need a car to go here. And how will I go there when I don't have a car? And this and that. Stop giving yourself excuses. Don't allow not having a car to stop you from going to that place you want to go. No! Not everyone is going to have a car. That shouldn't stop you from going places and having fun. No! Pick public transport halfway. Let me tell you this thing. You guys, let me tell you. All you have to do is, first of all, do you have Uber? Uber is the first option. If you have Uber, stop on Uber. You will go there with the car. If you don't have the Uber app, don't worry. The public transport are there. We have the taxis. You have the... Um, the buses and all that from wherever you are coming from just pick if it's a bus you want to pick just pick the bus and drop at the nearest bus stop to the place it won't be written on your face that you came there with a public transport no it won't so just go there 
and have fun. Have all the fun. Explore places. And you know what? Take lots of pictures. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys found this informative. Let me know in the comment down below what sort of things you think we can also do to go out to those places on budget. I'll catch you guys on my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. And enjoy the season. Enjoy the season. I'll catch you guys.